Welcome to Eat Patashala. I am Anita, faculty member, School of Medical Sciences, University of Hyderabad. In today's module, we will discuss about evaluation of the family planning program in India. The module outline is as follows. We will visit some of the definitions of family planning. We will know about history of family planning in India. We will look into the major policy shifts and ultimately summarize the module. Objective of this module is to present an overview of the family planning program in India and we should be able to understand the following questions in the context of India. Why was India one of the first countries to have an official family planning policy and program? What were the achievements and failures of the family planning program? What were the pressures both internal and external that saw shifts in India's family planning policy? By definition, it would be useful to define some key terms used in discussions on family planning. According to Wikipedia, family planning is the practice of controlling the number of children in a family and the intervals between their births. The Oxford Dictionary defines family planning as the practice of controlling the number of children one has and the intervals between their births particularly by means of contraception or voluntary sterilization. The Merriam-Webster defines it as Planning intended to determine the number and spacing of one's children through birth control. Family planning has historic, historically been a method of controlling fertility of any population. The purpose of family planning is to help women and their partners protect themselves from unwanted pregnancies. Family planning is important for the health of a mother and her children as well as the family's economic situation. According to Wikipedia, birth control, also known as contraception and fertility control, is a method or device used to prevent pregnancy. Birth control has been used since ancient times, but effective and safe methods of birth control only became available in the 20th century. Planning, making available and using birth control is called family planning. The Encyclopedia Britannica defines birth control as the voluntary limiting of human reproduction using such means as sexual abstinence, contraception, induced abortion and surgical sterilization. It includes the spacing as well as the number of children in a family. Wikipedia defines population control as the practice of artificially altering the size of any population. It is a policy of attempting to limit the population growth rate, especially in the developing world, by offering programs for contraception. In many parts of the developing world, population control is justified for coercive policies to limit family size by governments. A major difference between birth control and population control is that while in the former, the choice about family size rests with the woman or the couple, in the later, this decision-making power is taken away from the couple by the state. Contraception, by definition, is a method or device used to prevent pregnancy. There are both temporary and permanent contraceptives. Temporary contraceptives include the pill, the male condom, the female condom, the diaphragm, the cervical diaphragm, the intrauterine device 
or IUD, the contraceptive injectable and implant. Permanent contraception includes female sterilization which is called tubectomy and male sterilization called vasectomy. History of family planning The fear of overpopulation or too many people is old. Thomas Malthus, an Englishman in 1798 wrote an essay on population that had a huge influence in policies to control population size. Therefore, population growth needed to be reduced. Malthus claimed that while population would grow rapidly in geometric progression, food production would grow slower in arithmetic progression. The ideas of Malthus became very popular and are the basis for family planning programs across the world even today. Margaret Sanger coined the term birth control and in 1916 opened the first birth control clinic in the United States of America. In 1935, Margaret Sanger visited India and popularized the idea of birth control. India was the first country to have an official family planning program in 1952. The government of India saw rapid population growth rate as a problem and felt the need to control family size. Instead of using the term birth control clinics, the Indian government preferred family planning clinics. The family planning clinics had a wider focus on both the mother and child in an effort to bring down fertility rates and child mortality rates. Marie Stoops founded the first birth control clinic in Britain in 1921. The ideas of both Sanger and Stoops influenced family planning services in India. The early phase of family planning in India India's family planning program began as a voluntary service offering contraceptives like diaphragm and condom. It was conceived as a family welfare program. Family planning clinics were set up in urban India with the hope that people would utilize them. By 1960s, the Indian government knew that the family planning clinics were not working well and in the third five-year plan, there was a shift from voluntary to setting target goals for contraception. This is the pattern of population growth rate in India from the years 1951 to the year 2011. Notice how in the year 1951 to 61, the population was in the range of 20%. This was the growth rate as per the census, the decadal growth rate. In the year 1961 to 1971, the decadal growth rate was 25%, slightly decreased or almost remained the same in 1971 to 1981. The 1981 to 91 saw a slight decrease and 91 to 2001 there was further decrease and the decade 2001 to 2011 saw the maximum decline in the population growth rate in India. The source of this data is by the Census of India data. The family planning program in the 1960s. External funding by private donors for family planning began in a big way from the 1960s as India's population growth rose. Key players were Population Council from the United States of America, the Ford Foundation again from United States of America and the Rockefeller Foundation again from United States of America. 
there were mobile clinics, camps and sterilization became part of the family planning policy. Most of these funders initially entered India to do research and training but moved into direct action in the field. Family program in the 1960s was faced with a huge food shortage. This was due to droughts and this fed into the Malthusian prediction about high population growth. This forced India to import food. India came under pressure from the West to reduce its population growth rate. Food shipments that came to India from United States of America under PL 488 brought with it private funding for fertility control. Most of these funders encouraged the testing and distribution of contraceptives for Indian women. While barrier methods were part of the family planning program in the 1950s, by 1970s it changed to more invasive methods. The Lippi's loop, which had been discarded in the West, now found a new market in India. The fear of overpopulation saw the legalizing of abortion in 1972, largely promoted as another kind of contraception. By the 1970s, the official family planning program stressed sterilization, largely the male sterilization, intrauterine contraceptive device for women and the use of condom. A large portion of the development aid that came from external funders, both private and government, went into family planning program. Government allocation for family planning program rose sharply. It almost doubled between 1950 and 1970. The incentive schemes were introduced for those accepting sterilization as a method of family planning. The most disturbing impact on family planning in the 1970s was the imposition of emergency between the years 1975 and 1977. The emergency years saw an obsessive engagement with family planning that was coercive and targeted. In 1976-77, there were 8.3 million sterilizations. 6.2 million Indian men were sterilized in just a year. 2,000 men died from botched operations. 75% of people sterilized by the emergency government were men. Forced sterilizations, targets and camps became the language of family planning during emergency and resulted in a severe backlash post-emergency period. Family planning during the post-emergency period There was a gender shift with women becoming the new targets of sterilization. From vasectomies, the family planning program now pushed tubectomies onto women. During the emergency years, the family planning program transformed to a population control program where coercion replaced voluntary family planning. A major fallout of the excesses of the emergency years was the total reluctance of men to practice contraception. The burden of bringing down India's fertility rate now was placed entirely on women. The family planning programs became target-oriented with sterilization camps, incentives in cash and kind being a major means of achieving the goals. Family Planning Post-1990s The liberalization of the Indian economy from 1990 saw new players entering the family planning sector. The World Bank saw population control as a major funding opportunity and rose to become the main funder by the year 2000. Sterilization of women continued to be the most used contraceptive. From 1990 
to the year 2000, India attempted to introduce target-free approaches in response to the Cairo Conference on Population and Women. The present trends in family planning. The current methods promoted in the family planning program includes five official methods. Female sterilization, male sterilization, intrauterine contraceptive device, otherwise IUCD, oral contraceptives and condoms. India carried out nearly 4 million sterilizations during the year 2013 to 2014 according to official figures. Less than 1 lakh of these surgeries were done on men. Over 98% of the sterilizations done were on women. On an average, vasectomy covers only 1% of the total number of modern contraceptive methods used by people in this country. Condom use is about 5% of the total. 48.5% of the total use of modern contraceptives used about 6% is by men. This is India's total fertility rate. There are states with higher fertility rates as denoted by the color dark red followed by red then pink and peach color the light blue color and the dark blue color. The fertility rate is highest in those states highlighted in dark color. The ones in dark blue shades are the ones with lower fertility rates. The current use of family planning methods in India. Notice that the blue color takes the maximum proportion or the maximum share of the pie. Female sterilization account to about 34%. Non-users account to about 46%. Male sterilization is at 1%. The usage of oral contraceptive pill is about 4%. The use of intrauterine contraceptive device is about 2%. Condoms are used to the extent of 6% and any other traditional methods are used up to 7%. The family planning policy changes. The National Population Policy or the NPP 2000 provides a policy framework of achieving goals and prioritizing strategies during the next decade to meet the reproductive and child health needs of the people of India, along with the target to achieve the net replacement levels by bringing down fertility levels. The policy spoke of doing away with the target and camp approach but continues with the incentives. The long-term objective of this policy is to have an economically sustainable population by the year 2045. Let us look into the achievements of family planning program. The National Family Planning Program, launched in the year 1952, was the world's first governmental population stabilization program. By 1996, the program had been estimated to have averted 16.8 crore births. From 1965 to 2009, contraceptive usage has more than tripled from a mere 13% of married women in 1970 using contraceptives to about 48% of women using contraceptives by the year 2009. The fertility rate has more than half from 5.7 in 1966 to 2.4 in the year 2012. The total fertility rate has fallen below 2.1, that is below the replacement level in erstwhile Andhra Pradesh state, in the state of Goa, Tamil Nadu, Himachal Pradesh, Kerala, Punjab and Sikkim. What family planning program has prevented? 
Family planning saves women's lives. Family planning prevents nearly 2,72,000 maternal deaths worldwide. Contraceptive use can avert more than half of the maternal deaths. Let us examine some of the criticisms of family planning program. Since its inception, the family planning program has a vertical approach rather than drawing attention to factors affecting population growth that include poverty, education and public health care. The large amount of foreign funds have come with conditions and external pressures that push the priorities of the program without understanding the local compulsions and contexts. The forced sterilization program of the emergency period was a big setback to the program as it created a public aversion to family planning. This also resulted in women becoming the new targets of family planning with men taking no responsibility. The targets, camps, incentives or dissentives that defined the family planning program from the 1960s have played havoc with women's health. While the family planning program in its first decade tried to project itself as a family welfare program, by the mid-60s it transformed into a population control program. India's family planning program got thus seen as anti-poor and anti-women. In summary, India was the first country to have an official family planning program since the 1950s. Early phase of the program was oriented towards family welfare with mother and child as priority. From mid-60s, entry of private foreign funders for research on population and then involvement in redu reducing fertility rates began. Priority on types of contraceptives in official program changed from barrier methods to invasive methods such as intrauterine contraceptive device and sterilization. The emergency period between 1975 and 77 saw forced male sterilizations on poor men and resulted in a backlash. Program changes from family planning to population control with coercion, targets, camps and incentives were the norm. Post-emergency, women became the new targets of family planning with sterilizations now accounting for 98% of all sterilizations. World Bank enters population control funding in a big way. Some of the achievements of family program have been to reduce fertility rate, it has prevented maternal mortality, it has increased contraceptive use and has officially promoted five official methods namely female sterilization, male sterilization, intrauterine contraceptive device, oral contraceptives and condoms as a method to prevent births. Not yet permitted, the more invasive hormonal contraceptives are available in the market. Some of the criticisms of family planning program include huge foreign funds directed to priorities without understanding local context, vertical approach and no focus on improving quality of life and economic conditions of the people. It shifted from family welfare to population control with coercion, targets, camps and incentives. Emergency excesses saw shift in sterilizations from male to women. Health facilities have not improved in rural India but family planning program aggressively were pushed towards these women. Temporary contraceptive methods not a priority and sterilizations promoted as mainstay as a method of contraception. More than 700 deaths were reported due to botched surgeries between 2009 and 2012. In November 2014, 18 women died in sterilization camps at Bilaspur in Chhattisgarh. Programs 
seen as anti-poor and anti-women.